What's up guys, this is Andy here with Ultima Device Vids, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys five more new jailbreak tweaks for iOS 9.3.3. And again, these are not older tweaks that have been updated or anything like that, these are new tweaks that have been released for 9.3.3. Now with that being said, let's go ahead and begin. So first up, we have a login. This one is available for $1.99, and this tweak essentially provides your device with a lock screen inspired by Mac OS. So as you can see right here, I have my lock screen redesigned. It has this nice blur effect taking the wallpaper into consideration. We have sleep, restart, and shutdown down below at the bottom, those options. And we also have, of course, as you can see, we have a username that was customizable to our choice. We, you know, we have the little profile image there. And of course, we have our text box here where we could put in our password. So very nice animation there, you notice, as you can see like that. And my password is just test. So we're just gonna put that in and select go. And of course, it'll unlock the device. So very good looking tweak. I just really like how closely it mimics Mac OS. So to set this up, just jump into settings and you're going to go ahead and find login, open it up, make sure the tweak is enabled. Very nice looking settings panel, by the way, and then go into configuration. And of course, in order to get in here, you're actually going to need to put in your password after you set it up. Now to initially set up your password, of course, you're just going to need to go ahead and put in your password there. And of course, your username. So up at the top here, we have light blur, dark blur, and extra light blur. These are just some, obviously, visual settings. So if we just change it to dark blur and hit save, I'll go back to the lock screen and show you guys just like that. This actually resembles the iOS slide on lock screen a little bit more, but I personally prefer the light. I just think it looks much better. There's also extra light, which is just a little too bright if you ask me, but I'll save that and I'll show you that you can see there. Again, it's very bright, but of course, that's completely up to you. Let's just put it back to light blur and select save. And we have use number pad, which allows you to use a number pad with this as opposed to the keyboard. And then you have immediate unlock. And essentially, if I toggle on immediate unlock and select save, I'll show you basically what happens is as soon as I enter my password, I don't even have to select go. It'll just automatically unlock as soon as I finish typing my password. So I'm just going to type in the last digit there. And as you can see, it automatically unlocks just like that. I'll just toggle that off for now. And now there's also a choose your user image option, so you could choose a picture for that little icon on the lock screen. However, I'm not able to get that working right now. Hopefully, we'll see a fix for that soon. And then we also have a hint setting down here. You can actually just tap and type in a hint. I just typed here's a hint. And then we also have extra options, which, been, which contain just some miscellaneous options that don't really fit into anything that was there before. But you could configure these to your liking as well. And also, I just wanted to point out one more thing with this tweak. Essentially, uh, if you you know just want to unlock with your normal passcode, you could totally do that, and you don't even have to use this tweak if you want to. It's completely optional when it's installed. So if you just slide up on this interface, as you can see, there you go. We were brought to our normal lock screen where we could just slide to unlock, and of course, we have our normal you know, unlock screen here. And of course, we could just select X to go back to this interface. And I also wanted to show you guys what notifications look like when this tweak is installed. So I'm just going to go ahead and send myself a message. As you can see right here, it actually just says notifications up at the top of the interface. So now I could just go ahead and tap on that. And then of course, it'll just, it'll just take me to the normal lock screen where I could view, view the notifications as normal. So again, very well designed in that regard. So once again, this is available for $1.99. It's called login. Next up, we have Notum. This one's available for $1, and essentially, it provides a redesign to your notification center. So if I pull down a notification center here, as you can see, we have a new design. We have this border interface with the black, as you can see there. Uh, so there's that kind of blurred edge on the corners there, and we could just slide between our pages as normal. However, the, one of the primary functions of this tweak is the new music player interface, as you can see right here. So basically, it adds music to the notification center. So you know, if, if whatever reason you want it to be there along with the other pages, you now have it with this tweak. So of course, we can control everything through the interface within the tweak like this. You have volume, heart, uh, share, of course, skip, play, pause, your scrubber, everything like that. All right, so there's some options to configure for the tweak as well. So if we just jump to settings, we could head over to Nodium. And of course, you could enable or disable the tweak in there. Then you could go into general. And I just want to show you this option here. It's actually a color option. So uh, there's also a blur type as well. You could do extra light blur, light blur, or dark blur. Um, I'll just put it to light blur. And then again, the backdrop color is here as well. So we could just kind of change the blur color of the whole notification center. That's a really you know nice other feature of this tweak, just the ability to change the color. So we just have to select our color, slide the slider like that, and then it will turn to the color of your choice. You know, there's also some other options in pages. And also if we go back out here to advanced, there's some other, other options in here, but I'm not gonna touch on all those, but let's just go ahead and respring and I'll show you guys the change that I just applied. All right, so let's just go ahead and unlock our device here. 
I'll show you guys. There you go. It's red now. The notification is turned. So that's just a definitely a nice hint of customization that you have the ability to do that with this tweak. And of course, again, we still have our music interface, which I guess is the primary function of the tweak. All right, but yeah, guys, it pretty much wraps up this tweak. It's again, it's called Nodium. It's a dollar. Next up, we have Discretify 9. This one's available for 99 cents. This tweak essentially allows you to set certain keywords that if they appear in notifications, the notification will either censor those certain words, completely delete the notification, or replace that word with a different word. So it basically allows you to set, again, certain keywords to filter your notifications if you don't want you know, to see something or if you want something to be replaced so you don't see it. Uh, so basically, to set this up, you want to jump into settings on your device and just open up Discretify 9. And in here, of course, you can enable or disable the tweak. Then we have three sections. We have title, content, and delete. So let's go ahead and start off with content, because this is probably the most useful one. So again, if someone, if there's actually some content in a message that you don't want to be there. Uh, so basically, up at the top, we have replace the content by. Then you could essentially just go ahead and put in any word there. It'll be blank like this, but I'm just going to go ahead and paste in censored, because that obviously makes sense. Then you have your list of keywords. So you could put in words that you don't want to essentially show up. And essentially, you want to separate them by a semicolon. But I'm just going to put in bad word. Uh, and of course, you know, you could put spaces in them just like that. And again, if you want to do multiple, you could go ahead and put a semicolon, then just start the next one. So I'm just going to put in, I don't know, test. We just absolutely don't like the word test for whatever reason. You could put it in there. You could also have it so it replaces the notification title. So again, if uh, any of these words are in the message, you could also have it so again, it replaces the whole title if you want to. I'm just going to keep that off for now. Um, and again, you could also do, do the same thing with the title of your notification. So you could essentially have it replace the title with something if you you know something's going to be specifically in the title. And then you could put your keywords there as well. And you could also have it so it replaces the notification content. So that's kind of the opposite of the other setting. You know, if something's censored for your title, you could have it so it also censors the content with the same keyword. You could also hide the notification subtitle as well. And the same thing with delete. You know, delete essentially allows you to completely have it so a notification doesn't even show up. You know, it'll still happen and it'll still be inside the application that the notification came from. But again, it's not going to show up on your device if you have, you know, again, the certain keywords entered here. And again, if you toggle on delete notifications based on title or content, again, it will completely not show them. But again, it'll still be within the app. All right, so we actually set up the content earlier, so I'm going to show you guys essentially how that works. So if I receive a text with bad word or test in it, it should automatically just say censored instead. So I'm going to go ahead and test that out. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and send myself a bad word. And as you can see right there, just like that, it says censored right in the notification banner just like that. So it makes perfect sense. So, and of course, if we open up the application that the notification came from, of course, it'll show you the full thing. But again, if you're, you know, on your lock screen or you're browsing your device and you just want it to say censored, that's what this tweak will allow you to do. And again, all the other options that I basically covered in the settings, the same kind of thing applies. And again, if you, if you use the delete thing, it just won't even show up. But of course, when you go into the app, it'll still be there. And I'm actually just going to show you the delete one because I think that's an important function, just being able to completely hide a notification 100%. So let's just go into delete here. And of course, we have delete match notifications enabled just for the whole settings panel. And now let's just go into content keywords and let's just put in hi. Maybe we just don't want people saying hi to us. And it'll turn on delete notifications based on content. And again, and again, you can do the same thing with the title here as well. But now that that's set up, uh, essentially what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and text myself hi. And I'll show you that I get absolutely no notification showing up. Now you notice there on the messages app, I still got the badge essentially showing up there. But again, I didn't get any notification. And if I was on my lock screen, my phone would not even wake up. But if I open up the app there, you can see it's still there. So really cool tweak. Once again, it's called Discretify 9. It's available for 99 cents. Next up, we have status bar volume. This one's available for free, and this tweak moves the volume HUD for media controls to the status bar. However, it doesn't work for the ringer. So as you can see right here, I'm playing music on my device, and if I just go ahead and adjust the volume, as you see right there, right in the status bar, I get the media control there. And as you see there, it's actually very similar in terms of design to Instagram's interface, because Instagram does this inside their app. And again, the interface, you know, with the status bar is pretty much identical. It also works inside of applications, as you can see right here, and anywhere on your device. It's just a much big of an improvement over that annoying pop-up that basically takes up your whole display. You could also adjust it with your finger, as you can see right there, if you just slide when, you know, it shows up there. Now, the only downside to this tweak is when you're not playing music, as you can see right here, there's nothing playing, uh, you know, it's paused, and you go ahead and, you know, adjust the, try to adjust the ringer volume, as you see there, 
uh, in the status bar, it just freezes. It's not actually showing your ringer, and it doesn't show up in the middle of the screen either. Uh, so that you know that could potentially be bad. You know, you know, you're not necessarily going to know what your ringer is. But if you go into settings, sounds, then you could see it. So that's what you're going to want to do with this tweak. And of course, again, you could see it adjust there. And even when you're not inside that panel, let's just say I'm somewhere else on my device, like the home screen. You can see there I'm pushing the down volume button, and it's still taking effect, as you see there when I check in the settings. But again, it doesn't actually show up. So just keep that in mind when using this tweak. Hopefully, we'll see some sort of fix for this later. But once again, this is called status bar volume. It's available for free. Next up, we have Live Icon Disabler. This one's available for free, and it essentially disables live icons on the home screen. The, the only one that I know about is the Clock app, so after you install this, the Clock app will no longer move, so don't believe the time that it says. It's just it's just going to stay, you know, not moving. And I don't know if there's other ones available, you know, other live icons, but this tweak helps reduce Springboard CPU usage and reduce long-term battery consumption, as the tweak's description states. So, really simple tweak, available for free. Alright guys, that pretty much wraps up this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you find some good tweaks to install on your devices, make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to this channel for many more videos pertaining to jailbreak tweaks, iOS updates, that kind of thing. Also make sure to follow the channel on Twitter, like it on Facebook, and also make sure to follow me on Twitter. I'll put all those links down below in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.